Hey guys, first in this video, I'll compare the specs and features of the OnePlus One phone versus the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. Now, two of the most popular phone out there, so let's see how the specs uh, stacks up against. So, starting off from the display, we have a 5.5 inch display, so the OnePlus One is definitely not the category of a phone, it's actually a phablet. Uh, but anyways, it's a 5.5 inch display with 1080p HD resolution and almost 100 more PPI than the Galaxy Alpha. Uh, 401. Now the display wise the Galaxy Alpha is a phone which is um, you know sucking at display because it has a 4.7 inch display with 720p HD resolution uh, So the OnePlus PPI, One phone is the clear uh, winner in like terms of the Galaxy display S3. but if you want a smaller phone if you want a smaller display if you have smaller hands then the Galaxy Alpha will be a better choice than the OnePlus One phone now, looking at the software, we have the Android 4.4.4 on both phones. We have Sound Mod 11S UI on the uh, OnePlus One phone, whereas on the uh, Galaxy Alpha, you will get 4.4.4 touches UI. So, uh, it's, uh, it's software stuff is equal here. Now, in terms of the weight, uh, the Galaxy Alpha is the slimmest Galaxy uh, Galaxy phone ever, 6.7 millimeter, and uh, that's why it has a very low weight, 115 gram, even lower than the iPhone 5C. Now, whereas on the other hand, OnePlus One phone is a little bit heavier as compared to the uh, Galaxy Alpha, 162 gram, and in terms of the thickness, it is 8.9 millimeter. Now, uh, the Galaxy Alpha is extremely thin, whereas OnePlus One phone is also thin, but not as extreme as the Galaxy Alpha. So, and also design-wise, the Galaxy Alpha has a upper hand here because of its metal finish, uh, which is which looks more better than the OnePlus One phone. Now, looking at the camera, we have 12 megapixel on the Galaxy Alpha with some neat uh, new features like uh, video recording features like fast motion, slow motion, and. Um, 4K video, all the kind of stuff, Samsung goodies. On the other hand, we have a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash on the OnePlus One phone with CMOS image sensor, um, and we only get 4K and 1080p HD video and slow mo video, but we don't get some fancy uh, features like fast motion, all the kind of stuff on the phone. So, uh, you can both phones can record 720p HD video at 120fps. So. Camera-wise, I say both devices are equal, but the OnePlus One phone does have an upper hand here because of its more megapixels, 13 megapixels versus 12 megapixels. So, uh, in terms of front-facing camera, now this is where OnePlus One just crushes their op opponent here, his opponent's here because he has a 5 megapixel front-facing camera, but on the Galaxy Alpha, we have a 2.1 megapixel camera, which is the same as the Galaxy S5, but capable of recording a full HD video, 1080p. So, looking at the internal hardware, we have Exynos 5, 5430, 8-core uh, uh, CPU inside the Galaxy Alpha with Mali-T62 uh, MP6 uh, GPU. Now, processor-wise, it's good. It's extremely good. You will get good gaming out of this processor, and this processor will have higher benchmark scores than the OnePlus One phone or any other phone running Snapdragon 801 just because of its 720p HD display. Now, that's an upper hand here. And in terms of system memory, we have 2GB of RAM on the Galaxy Alpha. Now, on the other hand, uh, the OnePlus One phone has a Snapdragon 801 quad-core 2.5 GHz, not so bad, Adreno 330 GPU, 3GB of RAM. So we get 1GB more RAM here, but, you know, the display is 1080p, so things are equal here. Now, in terms of the internal memory, the OnePlus One phone has a 16 as well as 32GB variant, whereas the Galaxy Alpha has a 32GB variant with a 225GB uh, is uh, userable. So none of the devices support any kind of expandable storage system. So moving on to the battery, we have 3000 mAh battery on the OnePlus One phone. On the Galaxy Alpha, we get 1860 mAh battery. So uh, both dis uh, displays uh, will require these kind of mAh there, these kind of powerful batteries. So 1860 is should be enough for the Galaxy Alpha 10, uh, 720p HD display, whereas 3000 mAh battery is required for a 1080p phone. Now, in terms of the availability, the OnePlus One phone is, you know, available where in wide and all kind of stuff. It's not, you know, just available in the market. You can order it through online from their website. And I don't like the way they are selling their phone. So, and on the other hand, the Galaxy Alpha uh, comes with, uh, you know, will gonna come 
uh, 12 September worldwide and uh, also it has USB 3.0 which is faster which was first debuted in the Note 3 whereas OnePlus One phone has USB 2.0 um, you know just having some faster data transfer from PC to your phone and then you connect and a little bit better charging faster charging so yes it's a quick look comparison of specs here on both devices and uh, you know it all comes down to the price here you can get the one plus one phone in uh, at the price point of three hundred dollars whereas uh, the galaxy alpha will cost you almost uh, three hundred more dollars almost close to six hundred or maybe six hundred plus dollars i'm not sure about the price but it should be premium because it's samsung's first premium phone so we can't say anything at the moment so yes this is a quick little comparison do like this video and subscribe to my channel um, and if I have to pick uh, one phone out of these two phones, I will definitely pick up the OnePlus One phone because, you know, just the metal finish is uh, just not worth that much kind of money. So, you know, if money is important, then go for OnePlus One phone. But if money is not the thing, if you want premiumness, if you want, you know, something to cheer for equal to the some iPhone stuff here, then the Galaxy Alpha will be the good choice. So, yes, I will see you in the next video. Peace.